thruster. What I'm doing is I'm taking it from the power supply, which is the monitor, and I, I took a wire that was inside the monitor and I that was connected to like the screen and I took it and I let it outside of the monitor, which you see here, and it the wires are connected to these two bolts. The black one is the ground or the black one is the power wire and the green one is the ground wire. It, I then let it from the top of the monitor to down to these two glass jars. This glass jar right here from the from the power is connected to a resistor. The resistor go, only goes one, takes the power and only makes it go one way, and so my monitor won't blow up. Then I took took copper wire and I let it down to this um, container, and then I took some magnet or some electrical tape and I then taped it from the this container to my ion thruster. Then on this side for my ground wire, I took I took it and I led it to the jar, and then I taped the ground wire to to the jar, and then I took copper wire and led it to my ion thruster. Now on my ion thruster, what I did is I took only al aluminum and I wrapped it into a circle. Then I took three 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 and a half inch balsa wood lit legs and so that's what I'm using for my legs and then on here I have copper copper wire 20 gauge and what I do is I I lift it up and down to finally make ion wind and then over here over here I use this stick which is connected to the ground and what I do is when I turn off the when I turn off the monitor um, I use it and I tap, tap over here and I tap the copper wire and the reason why I tap it is so any excess electricity will go into the ground and it won't shock me.